This is one of a series of videos to help people make better decisions when buying artwork. Not only that, but after they've bought the artwork, the artwork how to look after it properly. So I'm going to start off with just um, what prompted this kind of idea of kind of make, create a short video on how to look after your artwork is a number of times I've seen this happen and again recently whereby uh, I've gone to see a collection, um, many of the pieces that I sold to many years ago and the, um, the buyers decided to do their own framing and um, basically they did not use uh, good framers or acid free materials or the right um, they didn't frame the pieces in the correct way and essentially most of their collection was devastated to the point where 50-60 percent of the value um, was depreciated because of problems that occurred through um, bad framing so basically there's certain things that happen uh, with artworks i'm going to talk about works on paper first uh, one kind of very um, common problem is what we call foxing. Uh, foxing you'll see in books and or on artwork and these are little little brown specks that you see in the paper. Um, what these are, basically they're impurities in the paper uh, which again start to make these kind of uh, collect bacteria and start to make these bad kind of little brown spots all of the all of the artwork or the other paperwork. If this is caught relatively recently, it's not that difficult for a good um, art restorer to take care of this and rid, rid the work of these uh, impurities and these brown spots. If you let it go too far, then the, the, work, the, the paper can get permanently damaged and become very, very difficult to get these out and therefore the artwork becomes permanently damaged. The other thing to really look out for when you're framing an artwork or buying an artwork is essentially what we call matte burn and matte burn is created by when a piece of artwork is matted over over the paper if that's not acid free that matte then the acids from that um, from the matte can start burning into the paper and you don't see it happening because it's hidden behind the paper um, also materials like the foam core used in the backing um, the special acid free foam cores which don't emit gas gases which again can damage the paperwork and damage the colors and the integrity of the work on paper so there's many different ways of um, of mounting a work on paper if we look at these pieces behind me we have a work by francisco toledo um, so if you're buying an art piece of artwork or just framing it particularly if you're buying it it becomes this is probably the easiest way to detect if the piece is in good condition and there's no problems because all the paper is shown there's no mat that comes over it so you, ev everything you see is as it is um, it is taped with acid free tapes at the back but that's another issue that uh, you need to be aware of that uh, sometimes people don't use acid free tapes and the tapes can actually start the acid from the the acid from the tapes the acid from the tapes can start kind of burning through to the front of the piece and you may have seen this many times where you have brown marks on the front of a, of a print or a, or a watercolor uh, that have come from the tape marks uh, from using bad bad um, bad tapes on the back. Uh, here we have a um, Jose Luis Cuevas. Although this is matted with a deep bevel, um, it doesn't go over the paper. So again, you can see what you have. Um, on the other hand, I have uh, the two works by um, Diego Rivera at the back of the room. Two beautiful lithographs, um, one of Zapata and one of the sleeping children, and that is matted over. Um, so essentially with, with pieces like that that are matted over you would not know what is behind that mat. Uh, the paper could be torn, it could be cropped, there could be mat burn that's covered up. So again this is essential to kind of know these things uh, before purchasing a piece of artwork but more than that when you get a piece of artwork that's in good condition make sure you look after it properly because if the artwork is worth hundreds or thousands of dollars uh, you can destroy it quite easily by bad framing and there are a lot of bad framers uh, there's no real there's no real set way of framing there's no kind of rules that um, framers have to go by so a framer can make something look really beautiful but you don't know what's happening behind the framing inside the mat uh, the back of the frame etc so it's really really important to work with a good framer and make sure you're using all archival materials uh, one of those archival materials is the, the plexiglass or the glass that you're going to use to, to cover the artwork. If you, 
if this is a, um, a watercolour or a salt screen print or a lithograph or an etching, uh, works on paper are more susceptible to light. So you need a good quality plexi or glass with a UV protection. UV meaning ultraviolet. Ultraviolet light is the light that is kind of most damaging to artwork. And if ultraviolet light damages the colours on a piece of, piece of uh, artwork, this is irreversible. It's nothing that can be restored. It's gone forever. So um, there's uh, many kind of there's been many kind of good products on the market. You can use um, a regular a regular plexi with UV. Um, you can use what we call museum glass, which is a glass with UV, but uh, it also has um, uh, a non-reflective quality to it. So you can see the work really well. It'll cut out between 97 and 99 percent of ultraviolet. Then there's another product that's been on the market which I really like um, called TrueView and this is a plexiglass that uh, basically it has UV in it and it's got the non-reflective quality to it. Uh, so that is a really kind of beautiful product, it's quite expensive um, but if you look over the length of an art, you know, the, the life of an artwork, particularly an expensive work, it becomes very very inexpensive to pay an extra few hundred dollars to get good framing rather than um, uh, cheap framing that's uh, uh, going to depreciate your artwork because it's, the artwork is going to kind of deteriorate one way or another over time. Mm -hmm.